now that we pulled it out, this is the bottom side of it. Now I'm gonna come here to the motor. I'm gonna pull this gear out. This one pops out and as you see underneath it there's a washer underneath. So I'm gonna put this here because that's that's how it was. It's gonna be tricky because these ones are pushing out. Okay. I'll remove the chain for the extraversion chain out. Let me set this aside along with the the bolt. Basically a big magnet. That's just that's just the guide for the chain. This goes here inside, and then there's the bolt. Now I'm gonna try and remove this one here. Just a moment. Okay, that one seems to fit. To fit. Pretty good. Uh, where did I leave? Oh, let's see. Hmm. It looks like I got another one that wants me to give a headache. With a lot of effort I've managed to pull these two out as well. They were give me also a headache. Now I'm gonna pull this gear out. This goes like this. And I got one last I'm not sure if it's a 10 or a it's a 8 8 millimeter that I gotta I gotta pull. And uh gear parts already started popping off of the engine and I think this is why it was rattling I'm not sure but this was this came out from the from the engine and so I think this is a part of a gear broken that's why it was having issues with second gear let me try and pull this one out oh one that was easy thank god <laughs> it's not very common that you have one which is easy to pull out. No, not quite yet. Okay, this one is from the case. I'm gonna put it along with those. And now. Let me oh, let me put this aside. It pops out. It 
seems to be popping up, not quite. No, it is. Very gently, I'm gonna try. Finally we got it open. Gonna set it here aside. So this is this is the balancer for the for the crank and this is the crankshaft so this is supposed to be okay. This little pin I don't wanna lose it. It's for the gear selector. This one, I'm not. I'm gonna try not to move it. I'm gonna put this little pin on a safe place, and I think there's a little spring. Yes, I'm gonna put the little spring along with it. These two parts, they go in here in the gear selector. For that, don't forget that when we start the assembly process, which probably will take a lot of time. Box. I'm gonna try and pull this one out and this one so here's the gear selector L is the one on the pinion shaft on top I'm gonna go here and then I got here. Let me let me change it. And then I got the bottom one, which goes underneath the second there. Now it goes here. Yeah, it was here. Here. And this this one says. R. R is the second one on the, the pinion, on the secondary. And now I'm gonna pull this one here. This is smaller for the primary. And I got the gear selector. Which will... Let me change the gear. See if I can get okay, popped out. And this one was here, and that's the one which says C. So C, the smallest one, is for the primary shaft. Now I'm gonna try and pull the gearbox out both together, and uh, as you see, here's our problem with the second gear. Let me show you. Two cracked teeth on the second gear pinion, and uh, I'm gonna ro rotate it. And uh, these two are cracked. I'm gonna leave this here. Okay, so. They go like this. This this one is okay. And uh, this one is okay as well. So let me put those together. And uh, okay, and here we got the cracked one. See? This one, which is also 
that little bit that came off it belongs to this place here so a tooth cracked here and another two cracked here so we're just gonna buy some new gears it would be awesome if we, if we could find only the gears otherwise we'll, we'll buy the complete gearbox and uh, yeah that's it let me inspect the other ones so these ones are okay and uh, this one is fucked there's a ring that will allow me to pull it out and uh, here on this one these ones are these ones are fine this one this one is fine as well this one is fine only this one has two broken teeth as well I'm gonna change that one as well and assemble the motor back into place okay okay so I pulled out the clip that was holding this main gear so I'm gonna set it aside now I'm gonna pull the gear out there's no washer it goes this way this side goes down on the, upon the other so that it fits like this and this side stays up so this gear out when you disassemble what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna as I disassemble holy fuck there's here another washer on top that just popped out see okay so as I disassemble what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the washer and the gear and the crack the gear and I don't need to pull anything else out because everything else is just is just fine this one is fine everything else is just fine so I gotta get this gear this one's cracked and this one was this way see that's the one I gotta get this is the secondary shaft I'm gonna leave this here like this I'm gonna the engine case I'm gonna put it there that one goes like this so that I don't lose fucking prick so that I don't lose anything <laughs> well, now let me see the primary This one pop off. This is for the clutch. It goes inside. I think. Uh, let me measure. I think it's exactly the same on both sides. So I got here one and a half centimeters, and I got here one and a half centimeters. So it's pretty much the same. This is for the clutch. It has to go inside. Whenever you put the gearbox, you gotta put this first and then put the gearbox otherwise you're doomed so this one aside actually right now I think I could remove this out of here so this one aside the crack tooth and uh, I'm not sure I'm, I'm gonna disassemble this one but I'll figure it out actually. 